Hey guys, never enough let go with another collectible minifigure review. This time it's on the zombie. Um, if you want to see all the details and like, the um, the general stuff about the minifigures, go check out the magician review for, uh, that I made. Um, so yeah, to start off, he comes with a plate like all the other ones. 3 by 4 with 4 studs in the middle. He has a chicken leg, which is uncompleted on the other side, just like, re like regular... Uh, chicken legs. Then he has a black shuffle, which I'm surprised um, actually feels like the cheap plastic because um, it seemed like other stuff that Lego n would normally make, just like this chicken leg. The chicken leg doesn't feel too um, cheap, the, but the black shovel does even though Lego makes black shovels. And I even think that the top is f um, flat, but I think for some reason, I feel like the um, and the other shovels, um, it's rounded on the top, but I'm not sure. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, oh, so um, he has a new face because obviously the Legos never made a zombie before. Uh, I think whatever other people have done, they've they like either taken a Darth Vader face or a orc face from castles and used that as a zombie. But now, if they get a bunch of these. Uh, they could, uh, make, actually have a Lego zombie. Uh, he has a, uh, suit, but it's all ripped and torn, gray hands, and ripped gray pants. And no back printing like every other collectible minifigure. So yeah, it's a really nice figure. I, once I got this one, I purposely kept track of the barcode so I could go get more of the zombies. So I have four zombies. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to make a uh, like a finishing up review of all of my collectible minifigures and the boxes they come in. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.